I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Mahjong competition rules. This is a really great way to practice decision making with this complicated game. Trust me, I know, because I've been getting beat at Mahjong time. So I need to learn the scoring elements so that I can hold my own either online or in a real game. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. We're going to say that it is the East round. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player 1 will get 14 tiles. Players 2, 3, and 4 We'll get 13 each. Then we're going to look at each player's hand and see where the strengths lie. Hopefully, we'll be able to identify some potential scoring elements. Everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for player one, also known as East. They have a flower, let's exchange that. Concealed Pung. All right, now here, we need to come up with some scoring because right now they have mixed suits, single honors. One, two, three, four, five. Three, three, Two, four. Okay. What I'm thinking here is to play maybe all simples two through eight and maybe mix triple chow. The same chow in three suits, two, three, four. That is going to be a long shot though because we need ones and twos. Oh, we have a one. No, no, we need, we need twos and fours. We have a one right there. Maybe we could do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Mix triple chow pair. One, two, three. That's very light. We need help here. One, two, three, four. We always got to have a pair and then we need another chow in here. Here's a potential chow and here's a potential chow. Mix triple chow. Either way, we did not use the nine and we did not use the honors. Honors are winds and dragons. If we discard the honors, that's a fawn also. Mix triple chow is number 41. Let's see here. What about, let's see. Um, one, two, three. I was thinking about mixed shifted chows, which is two fawn less than mixed triple chow, but I think we're better off with maybe mixed triple chow. Let's see. What about if we did lower four? One, two, three, four, five, six discards. Lower four. That's where you have 
all four pungs or chows in a pair using one through four. That's 12 fawn. Okay, either way, we didn't use the nine and we didn't use the wins. So let's start by discarding those. Let's see what happens. We'll start by discarding these. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Flower. Ooh, pear, tongue. Pear. Okay, let's see here. What about if we do all pung, no honors, voided suit? If we get rid of these, we have one, two, three blocks. We'd need to pair up. Okay, maybe. Let's see. All pung is number 49, and that is six fawn. We would need to come up with two more fawn somewhere. A pung of terminals is a fawn. So if we could come up with one more, one more fawn, then that, that might work. That's why I was thinking to void a suit. We can wait and see what happens and just start by discarding the white dragon. Okay, let's see what we can do for West. Two flowers. There's another flower. We have to wait for this player to get theirs if they have any. So I'm just going to lay it on its side for a minute. Okay, three, four, seven, five, seven, eight, two, five, seven, eight, all simples, mixed suits. We do have seven, seven, eight, seven, eight, mixed triple child potential. Maybe we could do mix shifted chows, three, four, five, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, three, four, five, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine. That's six fawn, but we would need score elsewhere. That's why I was thinking seven, eight, nine, mixed triple chow. That's, that would be eight fawn and that meets the minimum. Well, let's wait and see. We'll get rid of these first. This is west, east is the wind of the round. Let's discard the north first. Because if we pair up the east, we could get score for that, maybe. But we could also do all simples if we get rid of these winds. No terminals in here. Except if we did three, four, five, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, that would be a terminal. Let's see what we can do for north. flower. They have a pair of west. So here, I think we could do a half flush. Half flush, but we need score elsewhere because a half flush is only six fawn. Half flush is number 50. We would need two more fawn somewhere else. This is north seat. We do have a north. We would need to pair up in pung or pair up and pung a dragon. Any pung of dragons, number 59, is two fawn. So either this one or these two, those are valuable honors for this player. So I think we should start by discarding these. Collect dots. Even though these are isolated, we have more dots than we do any other suit to get to a half flesh. So we exchange that flower. Let's exchange this one now for this player. Crack, one crack. That's a terminal. We need simples for more score, but let's just hold it because maybe we could use it if we do mix triple chow. We'll start by discarding here. Okay, so we're ready to go. So let's see here. We're going to discard north. East always starts by discarding. So next time around, 
we're going to just gather number tiles, maybe one through four. That will be a push though. I think mixed triple chow might work if we can get a one dot or a three dot. So I'm going to use this to mark whose turn it is. It's this player's turn. Nobody can take that north. Single, single. You have to have a pair to act on it. Pung, three of a kind. And these are singles. So we're going to draw. Nine dot. Okay. If we can pair up and pung that, we can get a, a fawn for that. Let's discard this white dragon. So now we have no honors. So that's a fawn. We only have seven more to go. Let's draw. Oh, three dot. That's a simple. Let's discard the north. And they're not going to get score out of that. Can't get score for a pair. So they're going to need these. Let's draw. Five bam. We want dots, really. Let's discard this north. Five, six, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, five. There's some potential for a mixed triple chow there too. That's a repeating pattern. Well, this is pretty light, but five, six, seven, five, six, seven, five. We just need a six or a seven. So let's draw here. Ooh, three crack. Oh, we have all four. Okay, that's a scoring element. A concealed Kong. Let's see. Oh, I think you have to have two concealed con. Oh no, there it is. Number 67, two fawn. Two fawn for that. Okay. All these cracks. Let's get rid of the West. Now we have no honors, which is a fawn. No honors. We're not going to declare that right now. We're just going to stay concealed and see what happens. We can always use it as a chow and a pung. Chow, pung, chow, chow, hopefully chow for mixed triple chow. Let's draw. Oh, pung right here. Let's pung. So this is north. East is on the right. So we're going to denote it thusly. All right, now, potential for a mixed triple chow. White was discarded, so let's throw that. There's only four of every tile. Let's draw. Flower. Exchange from the back of the wall. Green dragon. Oh, if we're going to do mixed triple chow, single honors are not going to be helpful. Let's discard that green dragon. We've got all kinds of fodder in here, except for that nine bam. Nobody can take the green dragon. There's a single here. Let's draw red dragon. We want number tiles, no honors. Red dragon, nine crack. Well, that's a terminal, one, nine. All right, let's get rid of the east. We'll just keep it. There's a chow right there, seven, eight, nine. Potential seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, maybe. We'll see. Two dot. That's good. There's a green dragon out, but let's just hold it unless we do push for mixed triple chow. And then there's a pair. Let's get rid of the green dragon on second thought. If we can get a six dot or a seven dot, mixed triple chow is eight fawn. Let's draw. Two bam. Oh. Okay, we got a chow. Potential chow, chow, very light potential chow. 
Let's discard the nine bam. Up here, let's pong. So this is the player for south. So the player on their left discarded it. Okay, we need to pair up more. Let's discard this four bam. Nobody can take it. Five crack. It's a pair. Pair, pair. Okay, let's see here. Let's get rid of this one crack. Because maybe we could do six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight. Get rid of the nine and do all simples. Right now, that's the only terminal that we have. If there's a terminal in there, then you don't have all simples. Simples are two through eight. And incidentally, all simples is number 68, two fawn. So we threw a one crack down here. They're not ready to take it, not here. All right, so we're ready to draw south. Okay, we have a pair, very nice. Now we have to decide Pair south. Let's discard the nine dot. Because if we get a six or a seven, we can do mixed triple chow. We might need to sacrifice that. Or if we draw in other dots, we can sacrifice these. Or Mm, yeah, this is not necessarily a good thing. All right, we're going to draw. Seven dot. Now we have one, two, three, three, six, eight. One, two, three, two, four, six, seven. Let's discard the four dot. Three bam. One dot. No, I don't think so. One dot. Nobody can take it. White. Ooh, four crack. Look at all these cracks. Wow. One, two, three, one, two, three, two, six, seven, four, six, eight, or three, four, six, eight. This one, two, three is not really coming in. Here we have one, two, three, four blocks all in cracks. We really don't need another potential chow because we've got one, two, three, four. And then really we want this one because then we could do mixed triple chow. But if we keep drawing cracks, we might be able to get rid of all those and play a flush, a full flush. Full flush is 22 fawn, but that's a lot of discards. This could be used here. This could be used here. We could use that as a pair. Chow here. Hmm. There's a six, uh, seven, eight potential, six, seven, eight potential. There is a scoring element called a pure double chow or a mixed double chow. Mixed double chow is number 70 and that's one fawn. I don't think that's going to help here. We need a mixed triple chow. So Let's discard the seven dot. We need to pung. We have a pung out already. So we're not gonna take that for a chow, let's say. We're gonna draw. Three BM. Drawing four west. One dot. 
We already threw that one dot and they need that. That's the second one dot out. Four dot. Oh, four, five, six, maybe six. Oh, this is not working out. I think we should have them play half flush. Half flush. We need more score though, because they have a pung of west. This is the north seat and it's east round. That pung, and if we pung here, that's not going to give them any score for that particular block. But we could pung here and here and maybe go for all pung, all pung, half flush. So let's focus on four, five, six, four, five, six, four, five, six. Let's get rid of the BAMs. At least we have some potential still for a mixed triple chow as a backup plan. Seven BAM. We just got through the second wall. We're now going into the middle game. Everybody should know where they're gonna get their eight minimum. Here, we're trying for mixed triple chow with one, two, three very light right there. We might be able to do all simples concealed. We're going to need more score somewhere else. We do have a concealed Kong here. I wonder how that's counted though. If you have a concealed Kong, you won't have a replacement tile. You've got to get a replacement tile. You have to declare it. So we would have to declare it at some point to get score for that. That would take out a big chunk. Right now we have three potential blocks out of that. I'm almost wondering if we should give up on mixed triple chow and go for cracks. If we draw more cracks, I'd be tempted to switch because this is getting really slim with two one dots out. Here, we're doing all pung, terminal pung. All pung, terminal pung. All pung is six, terminal pung is seven. We need one more somewhere. Maybe, um, yeah, I don't know, maybe pair up and pung. There's already a nine dot out. We need another, oh, no honors. There it is, no honors. So we have eight, all pung, Terminal Pung, no honors. That's what we have here. So they're good to go. We just need to pair up so we can Pung. We can Pung here. Maybe even Kong here for another Fawn. Here, we're trying for maybe Mixed Triple Chow. Or we could Pung and do all simples and get rid of that. We only have two pair though. Here, we're doing a half flush. Half flush all pung. We need to pair up. We've had six discards. Nobody's ready to win yet. Nine dot. So much for another terminal pung. Eight bam. Oh, what about a double pung potential? Let's get rid of this nine dot. There is a scoring element called a double pung, but we need another eight bam. Nine dot was thrown, so we're gonna draw. Red dragon. East. There's one east out. Let's get rid of the seven crack. If we can get that east, we could pung it for another fawn or two fawn really for a wind of the round. That's two fawn. Let's draw. Oh, seven crack. We could chow. Let's chow. We'll discard the six dot. 
We don't want a chow. We need pungs. Two dot. Okay, seven dot is out. None of these other tiles are out. Let's just card seven dot. Seven dot. Nobody can take it. We'll draw. Green dragon. East. Oh, they got it. All right, now we have some potential score there. If a half flush is six, pung of the wind of the round is two. That's eight. That would be their eight. So we don't have to worry about pairing up and punging. We can chow. Half flush is six fawn. That would be number 50. So let's get rid of these now. Six crack. Six bam. Two crack. We paired up. That's what we want. Okay, we have a pair, pair, pair. All pung, terminal pung. We need more. We need more score from somewhere. Let's discard the five crack. We need to get some score. If we could pair up this eight, we could have a double pung. Oh, you know what? I keep forgetting. No honors. All pung, terminal pung, no honors. That's eight fawn, so we're okay. We can pung, pung, all we need in here is a pair. But let's still hold that, because if we pair up and pung, we'll have double pungs. Five crack was discarded, let's pung. Okay, we did a pung. We could pung, okay. Let's discard the seven dot. Oh, no, no. Let's give up the nine crack because we could play all simples. All simples. We need more score, though. I might have acted too fast on that five crack. But it's out now. Let's keep going. We'll figure it out. Five dot. That's a keeper. We'll discard five bam. Eight dot. Let's Kong. Kong. Replacement. Oh, that Kong is an extra fawn, by the way. All Pung, no honors. Terminal Pung, Kong of Simples. Let's see here, Melded Kong, number 74. Let's discard the four BM. Eight BAM. We have fives out. Here's a three and an eight. Maybe we could do all simples and all pung. So let's discard four dot. Wait a minute. We were going to do maybe three, four, five, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine. But that would mean we wouldn't be able to do all simples. And I already threw away a nine crack. Let's just do all simples and try to pair up. So let's discard the seven dot. So we have three out, four. Four, four, one. Okay, here we go. Seven dot. This player's turn. Two bam. Five bam. Nine dot. Nope. Seven crack. We paired up a simple. There we go. All Pung, all Simples, they're going to make it, maybe. 
So let's see. Let's discard five BAM. Six dot. Let's get rid of this one dot. That's the third one out. I think this mixed triple chow is not going to happen unless they draw that last one dot. Five BAM. Six crack. Okay, let's see. I don't think any of these are out. Six crack is out in a chow. Five crack is out in a pung. We need to pair up in pung. None of these are out. Let's discard the six crack. Four bam, that's out. Two are out. Six bam. One bam. We really don't need that. We need cracks, really. We need score cracks. We'll see. Nine bam. That would be a Kong. They have a pung of nine bams out, and we just added to it. That's the only time you can add to an exposure, Red Dragon. Green. East. Pung. We're going to keep it concealed. Okay. We're going to discard the five dot. They're ready to win on a south or a two dot. They have a pung of west out. So half flush, wind of the round. And they have a flower. So five dot was discarded. We're going to draw five dot. Red. Flower. One crack. South. Mahjong. Self pick. Mahjong. Okay. They drew it. Here's their pair. So, let's see. There we go. There's our winner. So everyone has to pay them. So we have half flush, wind of the round, two concealed pungs. And a flower. If they had a pair of Norse, they could have had three little winds or little four winds. That would have been huge, sixty four points. They threw a north early on, but there were already there were already two out. That's still nice. So let's see, that would be six for a half flesh, seven, eight, nine. Oh no no, we have another one here for two two concealed pungs. So six Seven, eight, nine, ten, ten fawn. Oh, B 
big three wins. Number 38, 12 fawn, three pungs of, of wins. Number 38, big three wins, pungs of three wins plus any set in any pair. Wow, that's 12. 12 fawn, half flesh, that's 18 plus one, 19 fawn. Wow, okay. Oh, and prevalent wind as well. So big three wins, 12. Prevalent wind, 13, 14, plus six, 20, half flush, and a flower, 21, 21 points. I think that's right. Okay, now 21 points. plus eight points for winning. That's 29 points paid by each player. Wow. Big three wins. I didn't even know it until I saw that scoring. Download this player reference so you can learn the scoring. I did not know about big three wins. Big four wins, all four is 88 fawn. Okay, then there was little four where you would have three pungs of wins and a pair of the fourth. But then big three wins, number 38, 12 fawn. If I didn't have this player reference in front of me, I would have missed that. And this is one reason why I like to play solitaire because you can figure things out as you play the game, but then after the game, you can look at the winning hand and go systematically down the score sheet and see what applies. It's a great way to learn. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next solitaire for Mahjong competition rules. May all your picks be keepers.